described the way it was described and, and by the ballot board, which is controlled by Republicans, and then was facing, we faced $6 million of money raised by Speaker Boehner to protect his own political hide in the state of Ohio. It was as simple as that. It's very, very difficult to pass a ballot measure uh, without any uh, uh, opposition. As you recall, Third Frontier failed uh, once, uh, which, which was supported with bipartisan uh, support. It's very difficult. But when you're working against the establishment, those who seek to retain power at any cost, you know you're pushing something uphill here. And, and in our case, uh, we, we are eager to start the process again and continue the push because it, it is meaningful and at some point we will succeed. Were you pleased with the way Secretary Houston handled the election yesterday, executed the election? I was pleased with the level of communication that I had with the Secretary directly and indirectly <clears throat> during the course of early vote as well as through the course of the entire day yesterday. Uh, I, am, I, am continued, I continue to be concerned about the erosion of early vote opportunities, staffing at polls, uh, the fact that provisional ballots were handed out far too liberally. I, I'm concerned about uh, many things. But the comparison to Ken Blackwell, the last Republican uh, 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 Secretary of State, there is none. Uh, Secretary Husted spoke to me every time I asked to speak to him. We had frank and fruitful discussions. His, general, his uh, Chief of Staff, Scott Borgamiki, was always accessible with the most minor of concerns that I would have to the most major. I fully anticipate that will continue through the provisional vote counting. I do not want to be hyperpartisan and, and just criticize him for the sake of criticizing. And compared to John, uh, to Kim Blackwell, I mean, there's no question. But compared to Jennifer Brunner, she 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 opened the doors to early vote. She allowed access to the polls. No other Secretary of State, regardless of party, did in the state of Ohio. And and I look forward to the day in 2014 when we elect a, a Secretary of State in, in Ohio. We'll continue to do the same. You know, how much money was spent in Ohio? 200 million, 220 million dollars, maybe probably total, just on the Democratic side. It costs about $5 million to win a statewide uh, uh, election running down ticket for Secretary of State. I'm going to continue to convince the DNC and other core supporters on our side of the aisle to invest in, in the Secretary of State race and in the 10 battleground states that we continue to hear about. Just do the math. It's a wise investment to ensure that every voter gets a chance to cast their ballot to win those Secretaries of State seats. Other questions here on the phone? Uh, yeah, of course, I got one final one. Uh, with respect to uh, Obamacare and the expansion.